Good day, grade 9 learners, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, for today's video lesson, I will be discussing about the graph of f of x equals to x squared plus k. So, ito yung continuation ng ating video doon sa una kong in-upload about graphing f of x equals to x squared. So, ano yung mapapansin nyo? Nagdagdag lang tayo dito ng k, which stands for any given constant. So, it can be positive or negative. So, this time, this time, we are going to compare the two graphs. And then, we need to make a necessary conclusions regarding the graph of the two quadratic functions given. So, the first one, yung na graph na natin na f of x equals to x squared, which is nag-assign lang tayo ng values for x na negative 2. Sige, ang gamitin nating value dito ay tatlo lang. Sige, you have here negative 1, 0, and positive 1. And then, so this will be the values of y for f of x equals to x squared. And this will be the values of y for f of x equals to x squared plus 3. Again, nilalagay ko dito yung value. So, kanina... 1, negative 1 squared is 1. So, this will be 0 and then 1. And then, for this 1, the values of f of x equals to x squared plus 3. So, that is negative 1 squared is 1 plus 3 is 4. And then, you have here 0 squared, 0 plus 3 is 3. And then, that is 1 squared, that is 1 plus 3 is 4. And then, let us graph. So, you, we have here negative 1 and 1. 0 and... So, this will be the illustration for, for f of x equals to x squared. And then, how about the other one? f of x equals to x squared plus 3. So, you have here 1, sorry, negative 1, 4. So, you have here negative 1, and then 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. And then you have here 0, 3. And then you have here 1, 4. I-extend natin yung graph para makita natin yung difference. Kasi yung ginamit ko dito yung values ay tatlo lang. But you can make use of five or more values para makita yung difference. So, this will be the graph of f of x equals to x squared plus 3. So, consider the table of values. Ito yung table of values na ginawa natin. And notice that for each x value, the y value of g of x equals to... Okay, by the way, ang ginamit pala natin dito ay g of x. g of x equals to x squared plus 3 increase by 3 for each corresponding values ng x squared. So, tama nga naman since nagdagdag lang tayo dito ng plus 3. So, therefore, yung y values, magdadagdag lang dito tayo ng plus 3. So, 1 plus 3 is 4. 0 plus 3 is 3. Then, 1 plus 4 is 3. So, this suggests that the graph of g of x Balta natin. g of x equals to x squared plus 3 is the same as the graph of f of x equals to x squared shifted to 3 units upward. So, likewise, the two graphs share the same axis of symmetry and 
that is the y axis. So, ito yung kanilang axis of symmetry. So, ibig sabihin, same lang sila ng graph, kaso nag-shifted lang siya ng 3 units upward. So, that is 1, 2, 3. So, tumaas lang siya ng 3 units. So, yun po yung ibig sabihin ng graphing f of x equals to x squared plus k. So, nagdagdag lang tayo dito ng 3. Okay, thus, we can make a mathematical concept out of the given graphs that we have compared. The first one is x squared and then the other one is x squared plus 3. So, nagdagdag lang tayo ng k na positive 3. So, therefore, if k if k is positive, therefore, the graph of y equals to x squared is shifted upward. So, remember, it will be shifted upward k units. So, katulad na itong ating example, so, positive siya. So, therefore, nag-shifted siya upward k units. So, ilang units yun? 3. So, 1, 2, 3. So, kabalik tara nun, if k is negative, halimbawa, that is x squared minus 3. So, ano mangyayari? The graph. The graph of y equals to x squared is shifted downwards. K units. So, I hope that you learned something today. Don't forget to like and share this video and see you on our next video lesson.